Welcome everyone to the 2019-2020 St. Martin Mustangs Athletic Awards, COVID edition. Obviously things look a little different this year. Normally we'd come together, we'd celebrate over dinner and a banquet and awards show. We can't do that this year. So instead we decided to make you this video to recognize all our award winners. Don't worry, we're keeping all our social distancing rules intact. This year, I know we lost our spring season, but the coaches and administration wanted to take the opportunity to honor those athletes and coaches that participated in the fall and winter seasons. We had a great successful with a couple teams winning championships, a couple teams winning silvers. It's been a great, great year, even though it ended unceremoniously. To begin, we have a prayer from our chaplain, Father Andre. Let us pray in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this opportunity to come together in this new way to celebrate the success of the student-athletes of St. Martin's Catholic Secondary School. We gather in these strange times to not be defeated by them, but to affirm that with you, God, we persevere and overcome all stumbling blocks set on the course of our lives. These athletes know what it means to face adversity and to face their own fears, and still to continue to strive to become better, stronger, and more humble. They have proven their ability to learn from coaches, to compete as teams, and to appreciate one another, whether in victory or in defeat. And so, as they receive their well-deserved awards today, we ask, send the choices blessings of your love over these athletes through the joy of participation in athletics. Remember also and watch over all Mustangs, especially those that are sick and in need of healing. Let us triumph through each day by helping those we can, however we can, and by appreciating the support and love we get from those around us. We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. St. Martin of Tours, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Congratulations, Mustangs, on your success. Before we get rolling with our awards, we have a short message from our principal, Mr. Pratt. Hello Mustangs and welcome to the Athletic Awards. I'm sure, like many of you and many of the staff, we're all missing these halls, so I thought it'd be appropriate since I was in here today to film my message from the hallways. It's been a great year for Mustang Athletics once again, and although we're not here in person to share some of our successes, I know that we'll be back at it soon. We missed out on one third of the season with the spring season being canceled, but even then we had lots of success. You know, there's a saying, if these walls could talk, what would they say? Well, I think if these walls could talk, what they would say is, we miss you, hope to see you soon, stay safe and healthy. Thank you. Before we get going with the actual awards, I want to take a quick minute to thank all of the people involved with St. Martin Athletics, all the coaches, managers, scorekeepers, fans, drivers, administrators, secretaries, guidance counselors, everybody involved that make athletics happen. I want to thank especially the coaches for taking time out of their day, leaving their families, children, wives, husbands, all that stuff at home to take care of you, to give you an opportunity to participate for Mustang Athletics. All right, we're ready to begin with our MVP awards. The Varsity Girls defensive MVP for this year is Ryan Hawthorne Harper, aka Rai Rai. Good evening. And the offensive MVP for the St. Martin's Girls Varsity Flag football team is do 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 Emma Davis. Congratulations. Greetings everyone. This year's senior varsity football team offensive MVP is Carmen Kutruzola and the defensive MVP, Conrad Erasmus. Congratulations on a great season. The MVP award for the varsity ultimate frisbee team goes to Elliot Rodriguez. Congratulations. And this year's MVP for varsity golf goes to Calvin Anton. The MVP for Junior Girls Tennis is Sarah Liu. Congratulations, Sarah. The MVP award for Senior Tennis goes to Natalia Nazarovitz. Congratulations, Natalia. MVP 
Award for the Junior Girls Basketball Team goes to Lamis Garib. Yay! The MVP Award for the Senior Girls Basketball Team goes to Alyssa Renault. And the MVP for the Junior Boys Volleyball is Julian Petrak. The MVP for the Senior Boys Volleyball team is Ahmed Dawood. Congratulations, Ahmed. Hi, everyone. I'm here to present the 2019 Mustang Cross Country MVP Awards for Junior Girls. The award goes to Patricia Koza. For junior boys, the award goes to Rocco Latrenta. For senior girls, the award goes to Lauren Jacobs. And for senior boys, the award goes to Chernor Jallo. Stay safe, hope to see everybody soon. Senior boys hockey MVP is Maddie Wild. MVP for this year's Varsity Girls Hockey Team goes to Victoria Foster. Congratulations. And the MVP for the Junior Boys Basketball Team is Adrian Mora. The MVP award for Senior Boys Basketball goes to Brandon Carter. MVP award for Junior Girls Volleyball goes to Maya Nero Boswell. This year's MVP for the Senior Girls Volleyball team is Monica Zalkowski. Congratulations, Monica. The MVP award for Junior Girls Curling goes to Teresa Pilon. The MVP award for Senior Girls Curling goes to Katerina Portokolos. The MVP award for Senior Boys Curling goes to Mark Popik. The MVP award for Open Curling goes to Cameron Hall. The MVP for swimming is Evan Aranjo. The MVP award for table tennis goes to Danilo Nazarov. This year, despite losing the spring season, St. Martin still provided the students with 25 sports teams. We had one individual athlete win a Rafsa gold medal and one Rafsa championship team. We had five teams and two individuals uh, win Rafsa silver medals and one individual and one team wraps a bronze medal. At this time, we would like to recognize the athletes who have won gold medals this year. First, we would like to recognize our tennis champion. Sarah Liu competed in the open ladies singles category and won the Rapsa gold medal. Sarah would, would have gone on to compete for her second Opsa medal in June had the spring season not been canceled. Congratulations, Sarah. Next, we would like to recognize the Senior Boys Hockey Team for their Rapsa Championship, the day before the school closure was announced. We know you would have done as proud at Offset too, gentlemen. Congratulations. Tanner Berger, Colin Crowley, Patrick Crowley, Sean Ramsey, Daniel DeFiore, Kobe Cummings, Wade Houghton, Nicholas Moldenhauer, David Elmy, Jules Jardine, Jared Light, Frank Murphy, Bodie Narcisco, William Preto, Sebastian Skira, Matthew Wild, Quinn Tavares, Malcolm Tran, Matthew Garcia, Jaden Rad, and Jacob Stahl. Congratulations, guys.
Next, we have our Athletic Letter Awards. The Athletic Letter Award and Honor Athletic Letter Award are based on a point system where an athlete earns a certain number of points for each team they play on and for additional items such as winning an MVP award, being named Athlete of the Year, winning a ROPSA or OPSA championship, and maintain an academic average of 75% or higher. An athlete accumulates points from grades 9 to 12. Normally, an athlete must earn 130 points for an Athletic Letter Award, then 180 points for an Honor Athletic Letter Award. This year, given the special circumstances, we have reduced the requirements to 120 points for the Letter Award and 170 points for the Honor Athletic Letter Award. This year's winners of the Athletic Letter Award are Veronica Kozak, Emily Foster, Emma Davis, Stephanie D'Amico, Crystal Azucena, Wade Houghton, Natalia DeMarco, and Rochelle Zilovich. This year's winners of the Honor Athletic Letter Award are Jenna Tagikani, Wade Houghton, Victoria Foster, Kara Serapilia, Elliot Rodriguez. Congratulations to all our winners. Next up are the achievement certificates for the multi-sport award. We would now like to recognize those athletes who played on multiple teams this year. The multi-sport award usually requires an athlete to accumulate 25 or more points in a single year. Given the loss of the spring season, we reduced that requirement to 15 points. We understand the time, energy, and dedication it takes to commit to multiple sports, particularly when balancing it with your studies, family responsibilities, and maybe even a part-time job. We congratulate you for your achievement and effort and for showing that Mustang spirit. For the junior boys, we have Colin Crowley, Ahmed Dawood, David Elmy, and Matthew McIntosh. For the junior girls, Madeline Carvalho, Patricia Kozak, Maya Nero Boswell, Alexis Maciel, Stella Fenn, Desiree Hahn, Isabella Narduli, Alyssa Renaud, and Alexa Dumont. For senior boys, we have Darius Aleem, Wade Houghton, Brendan Carta, Mark Popic, and Elliot Rodriguez. And for the senior girls, we have Kara Serapilia, Victoria Foster, Veronica Kozak, Rochelle Zelavik, Jenna Tagahani, Emily Foster, Jordan Jove, Katie Hickey, and Natalia DeMarco. Congratulations, everybody. home of our famous librarian, Miss Helena. I want to thank her for many years of dedicated service to St. Martin and St. Martin Athletics, coaching cross country, track, hosting all of our award ceremonies. Thank you. Miss Salazar? I would like to thank a teacher that has contributed to our athletic program here at St. Martin's for 30 years. That's half, that's doubled some of your ages out there. Uh, she is, she has coached volleyball, track and field, cross country, the ski team. She supervised the weight room. She's um, promoted physical activity school wide with the ski trip every year. She is retiring. Miss Lesky Reese, we'd like to thank you for your commitment, your generous service to our athletic program. Enjoy your retirement, we deserve it. Hello Mustangs, in case you haven't heard, uh, after 34 years at St. Martin's, I'll be retiring at the end of June. I don't like the way COVID-19 has made me in my career, but I don't think anybody's happy with how it's affected their lives. I'm sorry you uh, have missed out on your 2020 spring sports season, but I hope that you keep fit, you keep training, and you keep safe. I'm going to miss St. Martin's. God bless you all. Go Mustangs! At this time, we're gonna begin presenting our major awards. Generally, these awards are given to senior students who have contributed to St. Martin's over their four years. Uh, these students are generally held in high regard by their coaches, their teachers, and administration. This award is presented in memory of Mr. Lionel Woodbridge, 
a former teacher and coach at St. Martin. Mr. Woodbridge was actively involved in the math league and a strong supporter of Mustang athletics, coaching football, track, soccer, and baseball during his time at our school. This award goes to a male and female senior athlete who demonstrates dedication and commitment to his or her teams while maintaining a high overall academic average. This year's male winner is a member of the tennis team as well as a vital member of the senior boys gold medal winning Robson Championship hockey team. 92% average, Patrick Crowley. This year's female winner of the Academic Athletic Award played flag football, volleyball, and is also going on a softball scholarship. She maintained a 94% average while accomplishing all of this. Congratulations, Michelle Zovet. The following award is presented in memory of Stan Golowitz, who coached and taught at St. Martin's for many years and passed away in 2001. His heart and soul went into coaching his soccer team, and he will always be remembered for his enthusiasm, his peace signs, and his love of the game. We would like to present this award to one junior and one senior student that consistently demonstrate the same level of dedication and commitment, true heart and soul for their team. This year's Junior Heart and Soul Award goes to a student athlete whose skill and determination and sportsmanship inspires everyone around them to be the best they can be at practice and in games. This student would be in the gym every, every lunch, working on her threes and always losing to me. This year's winner, Alyssa Renault. This year's winner of the Senior Heart and Soul Award goes to an individual who has a competitive spirit that is unmatched in this building. She played flag football and ultimate frisbee and is going to be dearly missed when she leaves us. I remember meeting this student in grade nine. She had a bubbly personality and you could always find her either in the gym, on the field, or on the track. This year's winner is Emma Davis. Congrats. This award is dedicated to the memory of Anthony Cavado, who was an AV technician at St. Martin. He sadly passed away at a very young age in 1992 after a battle with cancer. Mr. Cavado gave of himself and his talents beyond the call of duty. He was involved with Variety Night, the fashion show, grade eight orientation, athletic award assemblies, academic awards night, and also coached football and volleyball. In order to honor his dedication and commitment to the school, we have this special award for a student who has shown the same level of service and dedication. This award goes to somebody that has shown dedication and service, not only to athletics, but to the school as a whole. She has been part of Link Crew, the leadership program and athletic council, given hundreds of her own hours to help with the St. Martin Mustangs. This year's award to dedication and service goes to Shelby Collier. This award is named after Rick Zalecki, a retired teacher and coach at St. Martin. Mr. Zalecki taught at St. Martin for 31 years and coached many teams during his career always showing integrity, honesty, and dedication. He served as the department head of Phys Ed for almost 20 years and was instrumental in the success of athletics at St. Martin. Mr. Zalecki always said that talent isn't everything, but working hard is, and he strongly believed in leadership through sports. His own humble and dignified leadership set an example that we should all strive to follow. This year's winner for leadership in sport got the most out of his teammates, and he would do anything to win. Let me tell you a story. On two separate occasions this year, senior boys hockey team was down by two goals going into the third period. On both occasions, this player stood up, dominated the third period, led his team, inspired his team to win. The winner of this year's award, our captain, Matty Wild. This award is given in memory of Jackie Hendricks, a former teacher and coach at St. Martin. Ms. Hendricks was crucial to the development of female sports at her school, particularly the women's basketball program, where she won multiple league championships and made several offset appearances. As a coach, Ms. Hendricks always emphasized three things, a willingness to learn and improve, commitment to your team, and the importance of carrying our faith onto the court or field. 
Her commitment to developing athletes who excelled academically and athletically while living the virtues of Christ every day was invaluable to the students she coached. This year's winner is an individual who played volleyball and soccer for St. Martin. She displayed Christian values in the way she treated her teammates, always showing team loyalty, always being patient and willing to help a teammate out. She showed community involvement by getting involved in things like the Terry Fox Run and Athletic Council and Christmas Baskets. And she was just an all-around good person. Congratulations goes to Crystal Azicena. This award is named after St. Martin alumnus who went on to achieve tremendous success both academically and athletically. During her time at St. Martin, Cheryl Pounder played on numerous sports teams, won numerous championships, as, as well as competing for Team Canada on the international stage. After her graduation from St. Martin, Cheryl went on to study kinesiology. Her constant pursuit of education and athletic improvement had led her to an honors level degree as well as two Olympic gold medals. Cheryl is a wonderful example of how hard work and determination can help you to achieve your dreams. This award is being given to an individual who intends to pursue their education in a field related to health and physical education. To present this award, we have a very special guest. Hello fellow Mustangs, Cheryl Pounder here. Really honored and excited to present this year's award to a soccer and football star, someone who will be attending Wilfrid Laurier University studying Bachelor of Kinesiology, my alma mater, and somewhere you're gonna have a ton of fun, by the way. But this year's award recipient is Anthony Lancioni. Congratulations. Now it's time for the big winners. It's time to find out who the Athletes of the Year for 2020 will be. This year's nominees for the Junior Boys Athlete of the Year are Xavier Howard, Ahmed Daoud, Nicholas Moldenhauer, Colin Crowley, Keith Wingett, and David Almy. This year's Boys Junior Athlete of the Year goes to David Elmy. This year's nominees for Junior Girls Athlete of the Year are Maya Nero Boswell, Ryan Hawthorne Harper, and Alyssa Renault. Stella Fenn, Patricia Kozak, and Madeline Carvello. This year's Female Junior Athlete of the Year is... Ryan Hawthorne Harper. Congrats, Ryan. The nominees for Senior Girls Athlete of the Year are Emma Davis, Lauren Jacobs, Kara Serapilia, Emily Foster, Victoria Foster, and Natalia DeMarco. Your Senior Girls Athlete of the Year is Victoria Foster. Congrats, Vic. The nominees for Senior Boys Athlete of the Year, Wade Houghton, Matthew Wild, Brandon Carta, Jaden Rad, Elliot Rodriguez, Bradley Andrade. The winner for Senior Boys Athlete of the Year is Jane Rad. Okay guys, so we finished up with all the major awards. Uh, we have one left that we need to talk about that we don't give every year, but we should probably talk about whether we have any candidates for our Hall of Fame this year. What, what's the criteria? So, it's a difficult award. We've only ever given it seven times. Okay? Seven times? Seven times. So, there's three criteria that a candidate has to meet. They have to have good academic standing, so a minimum average of 75%. You're out, Chris. <laughs> okay, okay. No Hall of Fame for you. Okay. Um, they have to have community service to St. Martin. Okay, mm -hmm. so being involved in the school in some way and donating their time to the school. And third of all, they have to obviously have athletic excellence. 
So, do we have any candidates? I can think of two athletes. I can really think of two athletes. I have right one. Now. One? I got one in mind. I got one in mind as well. Okay, Andrew, who do you think? It's a student that I've had for four years in grade nine, and I watched her grow and excel at her particular sport, and Lauren Jacobs. Excellent candidate, excellent candidate. Adam? Uh, see, I was thinking Victoria Foster. She right. has, you know, mm -hmm. done so much for the school, four-time OFSA participant, uh, two golds, one silver, and ROPSA has just been an outstanding athlete. I was, that's the two names I was thinking about. Those are two tough, tough calls. Great okay. candidates. So if we look at the criteria, they both meet the academic average requirements. They're both intelligent ladies, okay? Mm -hmm. They both have the community involvement. They've both been on link crew. They've both been on athletic council. They both got way above their 40 required hours. Good. Okay, now in terms of their athletic performance, I don't think anybody can argue that they're very talented athletes. So if we look at their accomplishments, um, what about OFSA appearances? Lauren went to OFSA four years for cross country. Mm -hmm. I think Vic went four years for soccer and hockey. Okay. Lauren also went for, for track, for track, circle running. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. And, and then Victoria Foster, she won ROPSA championship twice for soccer and once for once hockey. For, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. yeah. And what then about two other? silver medals as well, a silver in hockey and a silver in soccer. We well, silver doesn't like count. Yeah. And we know silver sucks. Yeah. What about the other awards that they, they might have got? Well, they've both won numerous MVP awards in all different sports. So Victoria's played, she played basketball in grade nine and then three years of flag football. She's won the MVP for flag football before. Uh, she played four years of hockey and she's won the MVP for that. And she played three years of soccer, would have been four this year. Yeah. Okay, and she's won the MVP in that as well. Um, Lauren, we have winning again, multiple MVP awards in cross country and track. She also played a couple years of volleyball. Okay, they've both won, um, multi-sport awards every year they both have won the athletic letter award as grade tens wow. which is wow. insane yeah. okay <laughs> um they both won the honor athletic award okay. and they've both been named athlete of the year in the past wow well i say victoria foster who do you say lauren jacobs for sure mr reitmeyer um i like both of them actually lauren jacobs and victoria foster is anything we can do well it's never ever been done before where we induct two people into the hall of fame but first time for everything uh, video athletic awards yeah pandemic <laughs> i will hearing all of the awards and accomplishments i think that both victoria foster and lauren jacobs deserve to be in the hall of fame for st martin all in favor aye, aye. <laughs> well i guess it's official lauren jacobs and victoria foster congratulations you're both in the st martin mustangs hall of fame wow congrats congratulations yes. wrap up the awards today, we have a short message from our Athletic Council President, Shelby Collier. Hey everyone, my name is Shelby Collier and I'm the President of this year's Athletic Council. I would just like to take a moment to thank everyone who supported ACE and were involved in Mustang Athletics this year. Thank you to all the coaches for their time and effort, to the admin team for supporting ACE and Athletics, to the athletes for their dedication to their sports, and the students who supported ACE and uh, sports teams this year. I'd also like to thank the members of Athletic Council. You guys put in a lot of hours this year to promote athletics and engage the St. Martin community. We would have loved to host the athletic banquet for you this year, but I know that next year's Athletic Council will do a great job. Finally, a big congratulation goes out to all of our uh, award winners and best wishes to all of our athletes going on to play post-secondary. Good luck to next year's Athletic Council. Well, everyone, that wraps up our 2019-2020 Athletic Awards. We know the presentation was a little bit different this year, but we hope you still enjoyed it. Congratulations goes to all of our award winners, and another big thank you to all the student athletes who played this year and were a big part of Mustang Athletics. We hope to be back in September with everything back as normal or what the new normal will be with fall sports and all that stuff. In the meantime, stay fit and have fun.
butterfly? No. Chicken finger? <laughs> I don't know. Spread your butterfly. Third with the awards. <laughs> you guys are making fun go, of go, go. So start again. Ready? <laughs> Have our athletic letter. <laughs> hey everyone, uh, I don't even remember my own name. This is, I had to say uh before my name. Why am I holding a lot of... Before we get rolling with the awards...